Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Emma from Looming Legends, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make these pop socket covers. So I do have three variations that I would like to show you. The first one is this multicolored variation. Next one is this watermelon variation. The last one is this just plain colored one. And this is an original design by me. Let's get on to the two dot supplies you'll be needing and the band count. So the supplies you'll be needing to make this project are a rain balloon hook, I'm using a metal hook, a stitch marker, and bands. So for the band count, you will be needing about 120 for these two variations, and for the watermelon variation, you, you will be needing about 55 of your fruit color and about 65 of your rind color. And if you do make any of these and you would like to tag us, you can tag us on Instagram at looming underscore legends. Without further ado, let's get on to that tutorial. Okay, so first I'm gonna excuse this little leg here because this is the microphone leg. If you are doing the watermelon cover, start with that color that you wanna use here. And if you are doing a multicolored cover or a one color cover, you can start with that color. Okay guys, we can start our covers. So round one is a magic ring of six. So you're going to wrap your band around three times, stretching it out, twisting it, putting it back on, holding on to it, twist it again and put it back on. That is your cap band and you're going to grab a band, slide through all three loops, reclaim, then bring this one loop over the other one. Don't make it fall off like that. So put this one over the other one like that. Then as you can see, those three loops, we need to get into those three loops, grab another band slide through these three loops like that then push this end down grab this end reclaim and slide these two loops over this one like that so we will be going into this ring four more times cat band ring whatever you'd like to call it you should go through all the loops this one two three and four so now you should have something like this you can count your stitches one two three four five and six so the stitches are these v's you can grab your c-clip or stitch marker and place it on one of the loops around the band on your hook so round two is an increase all the way around these six stitches, so you would end up with 12 stitches at the end of the round. So I will be showing you how to do an increase and you would just repeat that all the way around. So you're going to go into this first stitch here, grab a band, slide through these two loops, reclaim, then bring these two loops over the front. That's a single crochet. As you can see, this stitch, it has that V. So with this V, you're going to go into that same stitch, the same stitch, not the next one, this one here, same stitch, do another single crochet. So that is one increase, so you'll be putting two single crochets in each of these stitches until you reach the stitch marker. And for those of you guys that already know looming terms, just increase all the way around. Sorry, I should have said that earlier, but I'm pretty sure I did. And also, I haven't filmed the tutorial since the ghost, so I'm very rusty in filming a tutorial. So if I mess up a lot, that is why. And we are not in our usual filming spot because we will be moving to a new location, so this isn't that normal spot since we currently aren't at home so this is a different filming spot but hopefully that's okay so i have just finished my increasing round so i am going to grab my stitch marker and place it on that loop around the hook so our next round is a single crochet followed by an increase which will get us to 18 stitches so i'm just going to count my stitches one two three I did whisper because I don't want me to bother you guys when you guys are counting, if you do count. So, we will be doing a single crochet followed by an increase. So this is a single crochet. Well, <laughs> increase. Single crochet. Increase. 
increase. Single crochet. Increase. Oh, and those of you guys that are still doing the watermelons is still in pink or your watermelon color. For those of you guys that were curious, I will tell you when to switch. For those of you guys that are doing the watermelon, but for those of you guys that are doing the watermelon, you can just follow along with me. No, that was supposed to be the increase. Sorry about that, guys. Message interruption. And there we go. Place a stitch marker on the hook. Our next round is a single crochet round all the way around, so it's just one stitch in every loop. So, yeah. I didn't count, so... Whoops, it's okay, though. Don't worry, it'll still come out okay. And for those of you guys that are doing the watermelon, after this round, you guys will be switching to the next color, which would be that. So, just, I'm just, whoa, I just dropped a band. I'm going to get that. So, for those of you guys that were curious about that, yeah. And I don't tend to talk a lot in my tutorials, only because I want to save my voice, and I have... An almost empty bottle of water next to me, so yeah. And this design is pretty quick. It should go by fast, but it depends on obviously your looming level and your looming speed. But yeah, this is, I would say, a beginner project as long as you're not doing the watermelon. But even the watermelon isn't really that bad, so yeah. Whoa, well, I grabbed the wrong loop. <laughs> Sorry. I should probably put the phone on silence. Okay, I just put the phone on silent. Okay. So, there we go. Sorry about all the constant text messages. They shouldn't make noise anymore because they did put the phone on silent. So, our next round is an increase solved by five single crochets. And again, for those of you guys that are doing the watermelon, color change to your, I forgot what it was called. The rind color. So the rind color, the skin color, rind color, whatever you like to call it. So this round is an increase solved by five single crochets and we should have 21 stitches. I'm just gonna count to make sure I have 18. Okay, I have 18. Let's do that. Increase. One by five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Whoa. Then increase. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, yeah. <laughs> Five. I don't know what happened to the band. It's supposed to be an increase. Oh, and then you will be ending off with a five single crochets. Okay, put your sleep loop on. And now our next round is another round of single crochets all the way around. So for an example, this would be the pop socket. And as you can see, it's getting there. Not yet, but it is getting there. 
that's just for show so we will be doing a single crochet round you guys probably already started so wait for me it's fine you guys can keep going unless you want to wait for me that's nice of you it's messier And for those of you guys that are doing the watermelon, you still are doing this in your skin color. And you will be doing the rest in your skin color. Or rind color, sorry. Rind color, rind color, rind, rind, duh, rind. We're actually almost done. This is a fast project. Fast, fast, fast. So that's good. And hopefully I'm not too confusing for you guys. I hope I'm clear so you guys can understand what I trying to explain. And for those of you guys who are more advanced, the pattern might be in the description. It probably won't be, but it might be. So if it is, you guys can go check that out down below. We'll probably do a Google Doc pattern link. Oh, that's easier. Yeah, but I, 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 I'm not sure. We do have a Google Doc pattern, which is what I wrote the pattern on. Anyway, this is just did the last stitch. And you should still have 21 stitches. And for those of you guys that are doing the watermelon, I will show you how to attach a seed so you can attach it practically anywhere. I'm just going to choose this random stitch. So you are going to go in from this side from the top and slide through like that. So it kind of forms its own section. So random spinning for no reason. Anyways, so you'd grab a band of color of your seed. I'm just going to use the same color. So you are going to get this band, slide it through, reclaim, slip knot it, Go in your stitch and tuck. Whoa, you're supposed to tuck that in. Whoa. Tuck it in like that. So then you just make a bunch of those seeds all over your watermelon. That's what I did with this one. I did, let's see, four. I think I did about nine seeds. I'm going to put this back on though. Our next round is a single crochet followed by decrease, which should get us the 14 stitches. I am going to cap my stitches first, though. Okay, let's do it. I will show you what a decrease is. So I did my single crochet. So a decrease is one. You grab the loop facing towards you, the loop facing away from you. Grab a band, slide through these two loops, reclaim, and bring these loops over the front. That's a decrease. You just remember to go in this stitch and not in that stitch. So this stitch be a single. And this other stitch be a decrease. And again, you should have 14 stitches by the end of this. And for those of you guys that were doing your stitches, I'm pretty sure you paused the video if you didn't. Um, okay, you must be fast extremely fast or you could put the seeds on after I would recommend doing it before it doesn't hurt though to do it after if you'd like I probably should have said that earlier I did time myself to see how long it would take to make one of these and that was when I made the watermelon it took about 30 minutes so it is kind of a quick project but that was also me. I was looming with Anna, so we were both looming. Yeah. Anyways, that's that round. Now I'm going to put my stitch marker back on. And we should have 14 stitches. So let's count. Okay. I do have 14. So our final round is a decrease in every stitch to get the seven stitches. So we will be doing seven decreases, the same thing. But people do do their decreases differently. So if you do do a different decrease style, that's fine. Just do that. But this is the style that I prefer to do. Some people, they grab the whole stitch like that. Some people, they grab the front loops only, the back loops only. 
It depends on your looming style and what you prefer. Some people even do invisible decreases, but that, that, but that does add to the band count. So it just depends on your style. And you do want to make sure you grab the right loops if you are doing... Guys... It's fine. It looks like a band snapped. It's fine. I don't mind. I don't know when that snapped, but I don't know. It's strange how I didn't notice that sooner. As long as it stays, I'm fine. I don't know when this band snapped, honestly. And it's funny how I didn't notice it sooner. It's alright. <laughs> I am going to fix this off camera for one moment. I am now removing my stitch marker and I'm going into this next stitch, grabbing a band, sliding it through all three loops, reclaiming, and slip knotting. And that is it. So we do want to tuck in this band so you can flip this upward and go through this loop here. So we're going to go through these two. It's hard to reach. You need to kind of Push your hook in. Ah. Try again. And if this isn't comfortable for you, you don't have to tie it in at all. For some reason I'm just struggling. <laughs> Maybe I should try one closer. There we go. There's an extra loop that I don't need. It off. There we go. Okay, there we got one. Cut through. I just need one more stitch. See if I can get this one. Oh, I got it. Okay. Two should be fine. If you want to do three, you can. But this snapped band is still there. But this, I know the pop socket's really high. I also not mine. But you would grab the case, pull the pop socket up and place the cover on the pop socket so this is the pop socket cover so thank you guys so much for watching we really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do don't forget to share this video with your friends and we'll see you guys later bye